this time we're going to talk about what to do if when you get done subtracting at the S step, if there's not enough to keep going. So remember, when you first start dividing, you look at the first number and see, can you take this number and break it into four groups? Yes, you can. If you couldn't, then you would put an X there to save that place. But we don't need to do that because five can be broken into four groups one time. So we divided one and now multiply. One times four is four. Now we subtract. Five minus four is one. Now we're at the B step. So we have to bring this guy down. Can 12 be divided by four? Sure, three times. Make sure we keep these all in alignment and bring it straight up. So now multiply, three times four equals 12. Now subtract gives me zero. Bring this next guy down, but it's only three. Can I take three things and divide them into four groups? No, I cannot. So I have to put a zero here. That tells me I tried to divide by there, right there in the tens place, but there wasn't enough. So then we just bring down again. Now can 31 to be divided by four? Sure, let's count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. That's the closest I can get to 31 without going over. So I know that it can go in there seven times. Now I multiply seven times four equals 28. And now I subtract and the answer is three. So that gives me a remainder of three. Always double check and make sure your remainder is smaller than your divisor. Otherwise, you did something wrong and you need to go back and try your math again. Now, doing it the other way, where we don't have to do the, the bring down step, we're going to work in the thousands place, then the hundreds place, and the tens place, and then the ones place. So, in the thousands place, can four divide five? Sure it can. It can divide it one time. But since we're in the thousands place, it's not one, it's one thousand. Now we multiply 1,000 times 4 equals 4,000. And now we subtract. That leaves us with 1,231. So we work in the thousands place. We work in the hundreds place now. Can 12 be divided by 4? Sure it can. You can do it three times. But we're working in the hundreds place, so it's not just 3. It's 300. So now we have to do the multiplying. 300 times 4 equals 1,200. Now we subtract, and th that leaves us with 31. Now we worked in the thousands place. We worked in the hundreds place. We need to work in the tens place. The problem is, look at the tens place. Can 3 be divided into 4? No, we can't take 3 things and divide them into 4 groups. So over here, in the tens place, we just have zeros. Now let's look at the ones place. Can four be divided by 31? Yes, it can. If we can look at the ones place too, we can see that four can be divided by 31. So four divided by 31 would equal seven. Now we multiply seven times four equals 28. Now we subtract and that leaves us with a remainder of three. So now that we've done the partial quotients, we have to put them back together. 1,307 with a remainder of three. So either way it works, you just stick zeros in there. When there's not enough in the tens column to divide, you put a zero. When there's not enough in the tens column to divide, you add the zero and bring the next one down. Over here, you just add the zero and look at the next one over. Go to the next place value.